All right, so my video's gonna be crappy because my phone's about to take a shit. It's almost dying, but I got the uh, MSD box installed. I did install it, just a slightly different spot. It was the other way up. This made the wiring a little easier. Um, this is our 1.0 welding lead uh, coming in. If, uh, you know, MSD tells you that you should wire directly to the battery. I'm gonna get two individual posts for these and just wire the MSD box to those welding leads, but um, one zero gauge has 150 amp rating and that's at like uh, a lot of feet. <laughs> this is uh, maybe five feet. So the capacity goes up because distance equals uh, resistance, right? So, um, that's why I figured no big deal running. We're not even anywhere near 150 amps on this stuff. There's no way that could be, we could be overdrawing or anything, but you know what? Just for the sake of being correct, um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, put our welding lead on individual positive and negative posts and then take our positive and negative lead, um, and hook it up. Obviously, uh, the box worked over the winter. I think I may have actually smoked it welding, to be honest with you. Uh, it still worked just up on the higher RPM. Once it started to kind of saturate, it started to break up. Um, I think I'm, and, and I didn't disconnect the coil and the coil will still hold energy. So it could have backfed the box, uh, after doing a little bit of research and whatnot and talking with people. But this box was tested. The one I took out was also tested and it was, it was faulty. Um, not much changed. Uh, I have to pick up some orange and purple lead. Um, the box itself actually came with the correct pigtail for the distributor. The other one I had didn't have this connector. This is actually, I kept this from the distributor. So uh, this is orange and purple um, coming out of the distributor, which I have determined that was correct. And that was told to me that that is correct coming out of the distributor by the guy who checked the box. Um, the colors coming out of the uh, distributor are a little different, but uh, it's a matter of just polarity at that point. So uh, I have to just do orange to orange, purple to purple. Uh, make sure our polarity is correct. Sorry, my camera's kind of focusing kind of weird. Um, now, we did have to alter a couple of things um, because now we're feeding our bus bar off of our 150 amp fuse. Uh, we have power from the battery going directly to this. We have a fuse to take care of it. Now, here's the funny part. We're powering this up through this relay with a 150 amp fuse, uh, there is no way we are even coming close to overloading things up with what we're running. Uh, nothing is sophisticated about this car. But this is feeding into our bus bar for our auxiliary, which we fed uh, in the past our fuse panel um, out of here as well. The only reason I have a power wire coming out of here, a second one is for the um, push button start on the dash. And uh, so our, we're gonna maintain power to our bus bar this way and isolate it, not run it directly from our battery lead, which we are using for our MSD. And then we have a big ground going to the body and I already tested everything else and everything seems to be working pretty good. So um, I do have to fix this fucking hole in the wall, literally. Uh, this license plate actually came off the Bonneville. It was dated July of 89, which is actually my birthday year. Uh, birth month and year when, uh, when it was parked before my dad took over in about 2000 and uh, I wish I didn't fuck it up by painting it because it's kind of a cool little piece it is the original license plate to the car the old style Illinois plates but uh, I have to cut up some sheet metal and then make it so that it's accessible because it is uh, nice to access the back side of the panel um, I'm going to wrap this up tomorrow because I want to solder up the leads to that pigtail coming out of the um, that it's going to go to the distributor that way that's all good and you have to wind it and twist it and do this and the other and um 
Uh, and then we're racing this weekend, but we're going to race on the HEI. Um, just because uh, I know it works good. Uh, there was small discrepancies with my timing, and I don't want to affect the way the car runs. Right now, it runs good. It launches good. It flat foots good. We're just going to go out and race, and then once we're done racing, we're going to swap distributors and stab the pro billet back in and run it. So um, everything went kind of easy. So my panel did kind of, in theory, work. The only problem I had was the bolts. I actually had to nut them in place. I thought it was going to be easy to slip behind there and get them in. It was not. So um, uh, I did get a lot of positive feedback on the going to the big block Chevy deal. Um, I will not be completely abandoning the ship on the Oldsmobile as that's still Oldsmobile. Uh, but on this car, I kind of want to try something a little different, just have a little fun with it. So... Uh, I think big block Chevy is going to be the way to go. And, uh, you know, some people did have some, some things to say. And then I got some comments kind of like on uh, messages on Instagram and Facebook. And, you know, one of the most common one is like, you may as well go buy a Chevelle. Well, my response to that is like, well, you know, some people probably should have been swallowed, but dad wasn't about to stop mom, was he? So, you know, sometimes you can't stop train wrecks. You got to let just stuff happen and do what you got to do. So, um, Hopefully you guys just enjoy the uniqueness of my content, not just because it's Oldsmobile. And we might actually have the J-headed 350 sold. I got to get it on the run stand. I got a couple people interested. And that's going to fund a big chunk of um, what we're going to be doing, at least in hard parts, which is really, really good for me. Because, again, we're going to do it budget style. So um, on that note, I'm just going to let you guys go. Share, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. as Copper Cutlass, and we'll let you guys go.